and I had like some boyfriends and they were all like Indo, like Chinese Indo or actually local Indo. So I always thought that I would like marry some Indonesian guy, but turns out like the Singaporean guy stuck and and then they were just like that. Okay, why I speak Mandarin? Every time I speak Singlish, need to mix with Mandarin one. Oh my God, I almost poked my freaking eyeball. Okay, American Titan has come out. <laughs> then call me Sanya. Jadi kamu bahasa Indo. Pussy. Really hate the Singlish accent already at this point. channel aku nama aku Titan Taira dan video hari ini akan lumayan menarik pertama karena aku ngomong bahasa Inggris udah lama banget ya di channel aku belum ngomong bahasa Inggris kalau misalnya aku ngomong bahasa Inggris itu aku tuh ada dua aksen guys bisa American English karena pas di Jakarta guru guru aku itu orang bule semua jadi yang dari Amerika dari Kanada makanya logat aku kayak American banget terus logat kedua adalah Singlish Singaporean English dan fun fact aku tuh dulu pernah gede di Singapura selama sepuluh tahun dan aku umur 24 tahun jadi kayak almost half my life are spent in Singapore and I can just like change like this you know and like a lot of my friends try to do Singlish but it's all fake or not like a lot of my Indonesian friends try to do this English they think they put a la there and it's already Singlish but it's not okay so jadi itu jadi tayang di sini lagi kayak never that Singlish never that Singlish this is like really really damn Singlish okay so let's Let's begin. Thanks for watching. This is a very very weird video. <laughs> Oke, okay, jadi aku akan mulai pakai bahasa Inggris mulai dari sekarang kalian baca subtitle saja. Aku selalu taruh double text di bawah. Oke, okay, ayo kita calm down. Singlish in 3 2 1. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Kok pengen ngomong bahasa Mandarin. 3 2 1. Okay. <laughs> How you guys today? Okay, today we're gonna do like a fresh face makeup. So a bit like no makeup makeup, but this one is confirm can see got makeup on your face one. In order to look pretty and glowy, we need to put on a lot of skincare first. I'm going to put on like some essence. After you wash your face, try to put on essence immediately because your pores are the most open at that moment. So in this case, right, the skincare will really really like absorb into the inner epidermis of the skin. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use this essence also, but it's more like a serum, so it's a bit thicker. Why I use this serum after the essence is so that the skincare afterward will really, really absorb, and my makeup will just glide on smoothly, and like it won't get stuck to the dry patches and stuff. So I have like dehydrated skin, which makes my foundation like to stick on like the dry patches here. So it looks like a Sahara desert like that. So I need to hydrate. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna put on this Centella Asiatica Serum because this ingredient is the best for irritated skin. So like, you know how I have like redness around here because I'm about to get my PMS soon, which means I can make my menstrual cup video already. I've been wanting to make another one because a lot of people request. But anyway, this is like super light, so can wear for daytime, but I also wear for nighttime. But nighttime, I will use like a sheet mask. I swear the best skincare secret is just use sheet mask every night. And once you find a sheet mask that really, really suits your face, then you good for your life ready. Then your skin is gonna be like good forever. Anyway, speaking of skincare, right? If you guys like keracun of my skincare today, you can go to Tokopedia. They're having a huge promo for everything. So like beauty tools, hair care, head to toe stuff lah. All like women stuff. You guys can go ahead and click the link in the description box. I will always put it there. And also don't forget to follow my Tokopedia profile. Cause like, I seriously love Tokopedia so much. We have everything there. Okay, this is the final step for the skincare, but it's not really skincare, it's like skincare slash makeup. Cause it works as a makeup primer as well, and it's a tone up cream. So what tone up cream does is it makes your face like brighter la. Like your skin color will like go up one or two shades. So you need to put on your neck as well. So I look like crap now. <laughs> it has sunblock also. It works as a makeup primer and it also works as a moisturizer. So if you are lazy to put on too many layers in the morning, you can just use this. This product also available in Tokopedia if you guys want to go find. And I like to use this like underneath foundation. I personally won't use this just on its own cause 
it will still have a little bit of a white cast no matter what because I'm like quite tan tan tea tan is my name oh once you get that in it should look more natural okay my my accent is a little bit like fading already I, I keep trying to mix it with my American accent or my indo glish accent I'm like my brain is like a bit like like that now. Too many languages. You know, all the time, right? Because I can speak four languages. So every time I talk to my friends, I will suddenly like speak my Teochew dialect, which is the language I speak with my parents. Sometimes I'm speaking to Ang Mo, then suddenly my Singlish will come out, then I'll be like that embarrassed. But when I'm drunk, I speak Mandarin for some reason. Okay, now I'm gonna do foundation. Once you see I blend the foundation into the skin, it will look like damn glowy and natural. So I use this sponge. Every time you use a sponge, especially when it's new from the factory, don't forget to wash it because it's like probably a lot of chemicals on it and stuff and that's the reason why people will break out all the time because this kind of sponge is like damn right and humid. So it really really will infest all that bacteria inside. So just make sure anything that touch your face is just like absolutely clean because day to day also I don't really touch my face with my fingers. If you see in video and stuff, I very rarely touch my face. <laughs> I train myself because last time I got quite bad acne as a teenager. And when you choose a beauty sponge, right, make sure you choose one that's not too hard but also not too soft. When it's too soft, I feel like you're just blending your face with jelly and you don't have that bounciness to kind of bounce that foundation on. You need to see the density of the sponge also. If the sponge have a lot of holes in it, it means it's not dense enough so it will absorb your foundation like crazy and your expressive foundation will be gone to waste up. So you need to find one that is like the holes is still there but not like super duper dense because if it's super dense means that's like very very hard but to each is own uh. Some people like the very very hard type. Usually when I work with foundation, I work by section. So I live in Singapore since I was two and a half years old because in Jakarta last time got like big riot. So my whole family moved there. My dad still worked in Indo so he will fly back and forth. I was there till I was nine years old so in total seven years of school and that's how I got my Singlish accent lah. Because because like that's the only English that I learn actually. So this is actually my mother tongue. Then I moved back to Jakarta because my mom was very bored in Singapore. She didn't have any family members, no friends, anything. So when I moved back, I went to third grade elementary school in this school called North Jakarta International School. Over there is all Amo teachers. Okay, I'm gonna like talk an American accent right now because I'm sp speaking about my teachers. And this is the accent that they taught me to speak in. I first entered the school with a super, super thick thick English accent and everyone said I look like a boy, I spoke in this disgusting accent and it was just embarrassing so I had to like teach myself you know so I could blend in with everyone else but then like eventually right I realized that you know what I should be proud of my roots like I went to Singapore and like I learned Mandarin there I learned how to speak in this like casual English so now I'm making this video for you guys sorry if the accent sometimes like change or mix because my brain a bit fried now but anyway, I think the foundation is done. Okay, before I continue on my story, I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to use two different concealer because one is lighter than my actual skin tone. So usually I use this kind of color for my under eyes only because my under eyes is dark color. So you need to find a highlight concealer that will bring out the dimension of your dark under eyes. Get it? So it's like as if you are like killing the shadow in your under eye. So I will focus that under eye concealer right where it's darkest. So it's like this V and it varies from woman to woman. Ah. Okay, so anyway, after NJS, I went to this high school called SPH, which is Sekolah Pelita Harapan and I didn't like it there so I left pretty early and I took diploma in Singapore. So in Singapore, I spent another 3 years, so in total 10 years. And in those 3 years, I met my boyfriend Gaya Sa, which is a Singaporean and never in my life did I think I will date a Singaporean guy because I actually grew up in Singapore and I was never attracted to like any Singaporean guy. Like, I had crushes, but I was still very young anyway, so I guess you cannot really count that. But when I was in NGS at Espeha, like, I had a lot of crushes and I had, like, some boyfriends and they were all, like, Indo, like, Chinese Indo or actually local Indo. So I always thought that I would, like, marry some Indonesian guy, but turns out, like, the Singaporean guy stuck. And the funny thing is he actually never grew up in Singapore. He actually was in Singapore for only, like, three years or something. The rest of the time, he was in Beijing. So his accent is, like, more Ang Mo than me and he cannot even speak in Singlish. Cannot. His English is damn fake one. One of these days, I will show you guys. Maybe tonight when he come home to my place, I will show you guys. His English is damn fake. So, I always tease him for that. 
So now, right, this concealer color, because it's like light, I'm gonna put it in the very, very center of my nose. And also, I think there's like some napkin hair on my face. I'm going to blend it, but make sure, right, when you blend it, right, you don't like blend too much to the left or to the right. So you really go and focus on the center. Cause you want your nose to look like you just got a nose job. See now it looks like very sharp. And then on the side here, we're gonna contour it in. So it will really look like our nose bridge is very high and very skinny. If you blend it too much to the left or to the right, your nose will look very big. And then for this area, I also like to put a concealer that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So that I can kind of make a new forehead shape. So this part I'm going to contour later. And this part is gonna be like my new small forehead because I feel like my forehead is a bit too big. So I'm gonna blend. Like something like that lah, right? But then because there's a little bit too much product here, I'm gonna use the other side and I'm going to blend out the edges. In makeup, right, you just wanna make sure that you cannot see where things start and where things end. So with eyeshadow and with foundation and everything, just make sure like you don't see any edges, you know, everything is blended out. Everything is feathery. And then around my chin also, because I want to make my chin look like very skinny and like longer, so that it will give you the illusion of a thinner face. Cause this part gonna contour. So this part, I make like longer like, as if you just got chin filler like that. Okay, so at this point in time, right, I'm gonna use the second concealer which is closer to my actual skin tone and I'm gonna put it around any redness like on my face or if you have like a pimple here. I recommend using a concealer that is like closer to your skin tone. Because if you use one that is like very bright like just now, right, then your pimple will actually like look like it's popping out which is not what we want because we're trying to cover the color and as much of the texture as possible. And then some people like to put concealer on their smile line also. Why? Because this smile line, right, usually is like very shadowy, like very dark. You know like Gaius, his smile line here like very visible because he smiles all the time. I don't smile as much as him, so I guess my smile line is not as visible, but you can kind of see it now. And it makes someone looks older. And so a trick is that you can put your concealer right here, and then you can kind of conceal the darkness in that area. And so blend it down, and you can also bake that area. I actually start in the middle towards the end because that's where you want as much color as possible. And you want to kind of ignore this whole area right here and then you're going to use a spoolie and blend it out. You want this part to look very, very light in color and then slowly build the color up. I'm gonna finish out the brows by using a brow mascara. So this one will help my brow hairs to stand up and look very like model edgy type of vibe. And it will look like real feathery brows. So that's how I do my one brow. I'm gonna go off camera and do the other brow. But I just wanna remind you guys, if you wanna use any of the product that I'm using today, don't forget to check the link in my description box because really, really this promo is once you miss, you will damn regret one because it's like the whole body, head to toe. Everything got discount up to 60%. The promo is called Beauty Delight. And actually, I'm the face of the promo. <laughs> I was looking at Telopedia application. Then just now I was like, what the heck? That is like actually on my face. I didn't know they will use it for Beauty Delight, but quite cool. Uh. You guys can go check out. Okay, I'm gonna do the other brow now. Okay, so my brows are done. I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow. This is one of my favorite palettes. And I'm gonna use this color. It's quite a warm brown. It's not like super neutral. And I'm gonna put this all over my eye. This is just going to make my eye have more dimension. So it looks like my eyes is like deeper than the rest of my face. Okay, jadi karena dari tadi aku udah ngomong bahasa Inggris, aku pengen kalian jawab di komen di bawah. Kalau misalnya aku ganti dari aksen Amrik ke aksen Singlish, kalian tuh ngeliat aku kayak beda gitu gak sih? Kok aku rasanya kalau ngeliat orang logatnya ganti-ganti ya, cara aku ngeliat orang itu tuh berubah. Gak tau menurut kalian gimana? Menurut aku, kalau aku ngomong bahasa Inggris, aku tuh kayak lebih friendly, mungkin ya. Lebih approachable. Kalau pakai logat Amrik tuh lebih kayak sombong kesannya, tapi pinter. Yeah, nggak komen di bawah guys. Aku penasaran. Okay, so back to my Singlish accent. Okay, now that I have my base eyeshadow done, I'm gonna use this shimmery gold color. I really like this color a lot. You see, it's like got little micro glitter particles, and it's just so beautiful. Damn shiny. And I'm gonna put this right at the center, like right here. And I'm gonna leave it at that, and then just like blend it out. Like this is what I do like almost every day lah when I am in the mood to use eyeshadow. Like I don't go crazy with the colors anymore. Like I don't put like crease color or whatever. I literally only use two eyeshadow and call it a day. And done lah. 
是这样而已。哎，我 speak Mandarin. Every time I speak English, need to mix with Mandarin one. Then you see how I focus the glitter on the very center, but then I'm using my two other fingers to blend out the side. You see like this. So still got a little bit of glitter on the side. So it's not like one ball of full moon in the center like that. So it looks like a halo effect, but it takes so little effort to achieve this. You know what I mean? Okay, so I just opened a new tube of my favorite eyeliner. This is super waterproof. So I'm gonna draw the line now and then draw the wing. Okay, like something like that. And I'm going to make the line super small. Sorry if it's not in focus, but I hope you guys get the point. So like something like that, and then you can draw on the line and work on it. When I draw my eyeliner, right, I actually kind of tight line it, so like underneath my real lashes, so that it will look very very natural once you actually build the line to be thicker and thicker. So I draw it like down here. Oh my god, I almost poked my freaking eyeball. Okay, American people has come out. Then call me saying. Jadi kamu masak Indo, pusing. Kalau misalnya kalian ngeliat ke atas, ya kalian ngeliat dagingnya gitu loh guys, tuh daging di lash line sini ditutup pakai eyeliner. So as you can see, this new eyeliner technique, my eyes look longer because I actually connected. To my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna use a small pencil brush and I'm gonna dip in the same brown color just now and I'm gonna put it at the lower corner. You can see from far, eh? It makes my eyes look longer and bigger and I really hate this English accent already at this point. I think I'm not gonna speak in English for the next month. Then I'm gonna finish it up with a brown pencil liner. And I'm going to focus the color only on the outer end, so I connect it to the top wing, right? And then I stop right in the middle of my eye. But the line gets thinner and thinner the more I reach the middle of my eye. So something like this, just to line the eye. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I actually initially thought this makeup look is gonna be very natural, but turns out I had to whip out the freaking eyeshadow, and now it looks super glam. I'm sorry, guys. This is still very easy to achieve, so I hope you guys still enjoy this makeup tutorial. To finish up the eye, I'm gonna use this super duper natural lashes. You can barely even see them because I'm still trying to make this a little bit natural, even though in the beginning I said fresh face, but now become <laughs> super. Like bold looking because of the eyeliner lah. That makes it look very bold. But what to do? Eh, this is my everyday eyeliner. Okay, now that I have both of my false lashes on and they're actually quite natural type. Even though this look is really, really not looking very natural, I'm sorry guys, but it's easy to achieve. And when you put on powder, make sure to cover everywhere, even your neck, because you never know if you want to put on another powder product on top of your neck or on top of your face. I'm gonna use a face palette from another local beauty brand. Very proud of local beauty brands these days, by the way, and it has my name inside. So cute, yeah. So if your contour goes too high up, no problem, because contour is better to go higher. Up than too low because once you put it too low, your face will be very saggy and long and looks so old. So in the beginning of my YouTube, right, for two or three years, I actually spoke full English, not this English lah, but my normal English, and I realized that my views were going down slowly and slowly because I think Indonesian people just started getting bored of like watching English content when they prefer watching Indonesian content, and so one day I randomly posted an Indonesian video, and turns out that one like reached one hundred plus k views, which is a lot, a lot for back then, and. I realized that I should stop being stubborn, and that's why I really, really go and improve my Bahasa Indonesia. So my videos have always been in Indo since then, since like a year plus ago, and my subscribers and my views have been going up rapidly. So sometimes you just need to be able to see your target market and see your audience changes and stuff. But now I'm curious that I'm posting this English video, right? Are you guys like getting bored because this is not your language, or are you guys like actually intrigued because it's in English? I don't know. 
Then like in Instagram, right, I ask people, do you guys prefer me speaking Indo or English? Then suddenly not everyone say they prefer me speaking English. Even though one year and a half ago, I asked everyone, do you guys prefer Indo or English? Everyone say Indo. So just like go to the beat of your own drum and don't listen to people and do whatever you think is best for you. I think I learned that in this past year and a half. By the way guys, just now from now, Napkin has been <laughs> on my butt so she's been there that's why I've been sitting like very uncomfortably my back kind of hurts but look how cute she looks Aww, she just took a shower today look at her tongue it's always out okay I need to do this this dance that I haven't done in a while look at her freaking face okay moving on Okay, because just now the contour, right, the colour is like quite warm, I don't dare to put on my nose. I thought my nose looked orange. Because it's like in the centre of my face. I thought if my nose is orange, it's like very obvious. So I'm going to use this contour colour that is like very, very neutral. Very neutral, like almost like no pigment like that also. So I actually prefer contour that is like not as pigmented. Because contour is supposed to be like not as pigmented as eyeshadow. If it's very pigmented as eyeshadow, right, it's like damn hard to blend. But See, now I look like I just got a nose job because just now I got put the concealer highlight in the center so you can see how the finished powder is like damn nice that I just got filler in my nose. Sekarang aku balik lagi ke palette yang tadi. Aku mau pakai warna yang ini. Dia kayak lebih peachy gitu dan menurut aku dia bakal lebih cocok ke look ini. Dan aku pakai kuas yang beda guys. Yang ini tuh kayak agak shimmery gitu blushnya which... Oh my god, ini pigmented banget. Jadi ini salah satu example di mana blush itu nggak boleh terlalu pigmented. Jadi itu kayak susah di blend gitu guys. Tuh, pigmented banget. Oke, okay. sekarang aku harus pakai kuas yang gede yang tadi aku pakai buat bedak dan ngeblend biar dia nggak se strong ini guys. Wow. Terus sekarang aku mau pakai highlight. Kok jadi bahasa Indo sih sekarang? So now I'm gonna use this highlight color and I'm gonna put it at the very very top of my cheekbone like this. And then I just use my middle finger and I put at the very tip of my nose like that. You see how much of a difference that one tip makes? And then I make a line there. So it's a exclamation mark. Okay guys, we have finally reached the final step which is the lips. I actually really want to eat now. I'm quite hungry so I'm rushing through the end of this tutorial. But usually it would be ideal for you to like lip scrub or something lah. But you know, this is how I do my lip scrub. Lazy girl hack once again. This lipstick is like a rosy mauve color. I think it's like super nice for every day. Oh my god, it's actually like damn nice. And I'm not gonna put on a lot because I actually want to blend it out with my finger. You guys know I like to do this. So I don't like to put on the lipstick like full on pigmented because it looks very unnatural and very old. Like I feel like that style of lipstick is like kind of like out, out of trend already. And the style of lipstick now is like a bit a bit messy type. So this is the final look for my makeup. Dan sekarang aku mau pakai hair perfume aku. Dulu tuh aku suka pakai parfum untuk badan buat rambut. Dan itu memang bekerja banget sih. Kalau misalnya kalian lagi peluk seseorang tuh langsung kayak wangi banget. Tapi masalahnya parfum kayak gitu tuh nggak bagus buat rambut. Jadi... jadi aku sekarang udah invest di hair perfume yang aman buat rambut. Dan ini wangi banget. Kalau misalnya kalian mau nyari hair perfume, aku rekomen cari sekarang. Sekalian ada promo beauty delay di Tokopedia ya nggak sih? Jadi kayak kalian bisa nyari beauty tools, bisa nyari hair care, ada hair curler juga dan hair perfume tentunya. So I'm just gonna spray myself in this and go meet Shawn Mendes. By the way, nanti malam aku ke konser Shawn Mendes guys. Makanya aku sekarang pakai makeup setebal ini karena harus sampai malam. So this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy my English accent, my indo glish and my American accent. Okay, it's like a super hard video to make. I feel like this makeup look is like not the best I can do because I was so freaking distracted by all these languages. You guys should try this out. Learn a different language or try and speak different language, different accent every sentence. It's quite actually quite fun. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you can put this makeup look to good use. You can take a tip or a trick here and there. And I don't know what to name this look. I think I'm just gonna name it like Easy Glam. Maybe that's what it looks. Like, don't forget to click the subscribe button dan juga pencet lonceng notifikasi biar tiap kali aku upload video baru which is setiap hari Rabu dan kadang hari Minggu kalian bisa dapat notifikasinya di HP kalian dan
langsung nonton premiernya seru banget tau guys bisa live chat bareng kalian kalau premier jadi jangan lupa untuk subscribe ya I love every single one of you guys and I'll see you guys in my video next week.